Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. So today I'm excited to show you how to make a promo bar at the top of your website without any plugins. And it's even going to have a way so users can click a little X and hide that thing and it won't show up again. So we're gonna be building this directly in Divi and we're gonna be using the theme builder. And yeah, you no longer need to have a plugin for this because we can do it in Divi with just a real little snippet of code. All right, well, I'm excited to show you. Let's get started. Okay, so if you're watching this on YouTube, you're gonna wanna go over to the blog post, get that open in another tab, and you're gonna wanna be over there because of the snippets and things that are gonna be coming um, over on that blog post. So I'm gonna go now to my example site, and we're gonna be working through this example together. So we're gonna be using the theme builder um, to make these promo bars and these notification bars, we can put these on any um, template here that we want. Um, I'm going to be using just the global header right now, but again, you could go in here and assign this thing to any of these things. Maybe you want this promo bar to just be on products or a certain product category or blog posts or anything like that. This is so cool that you can do this. So anyway, let's go in here. I'm going to edit this. I'm actually, um, going to be using one that I already have started but for you just you're just going to need to make a section and then inside that section design what your promo bar you know what you want in there so for this example I put you know promo bar I get 20% off our site wide sale and a, a button and then this X so I'm going to show you how to do that and so I set the section you know to not have very much padding top and bottom make it nice and narrow here and put it above my header section so you know, for this one, the structure was kind of like, um, I think this is like three fifths and then one fifth, one fifth column structure. So you can make any type of promo bar you want. And I just wanted to show you and maybe plug my plug in here. Check out this uh, purple bar here that I made. So this is just an example of a type of promo bar that you could make. And this is actually using my custom made Divi plugin that we just released, Divi Timer Pro. So this will actually have an auto restart feature or an evergreen feature, which means when someone lands on the page, um, the, the countdown starts. So it don't start until they land on the page and then it makes it look like they've got this great deal. Um, and that's called, you know, scarcity timer and, um, and an evergreen timer. So anyway, I'm just showing you that you could put a countdown timer in um, and this, this tutorial coupled with my plugin would make a great combination. And I'm not just saying that because, you know, I'm selling a product, but, you know, having a countdown timer in a promo bar, this one works a lot better than the, just the regular one where it counts down and then just ends. And it's like, well, that was pointless. This one does all kind of cool stuff when it's done, like redirects or um, shows a message or hides. Now, the trick here, the reason we have an X is because I'm gonna show you how to close that you know um that's going to be the most of this tutorial because otherwise you know you could just go make your your promo bar um but the idea here is that people can close it because you know they might not they might just be tired of seeing it and then the idea also is to keep that thing hidden while the user's on the site okay so let's go over to the blog post and i want you to grab the start here i want you to grab this little bit of code this is from the built-in um, icon font that comes with Divi. And it's just, you know, a couple numbers and letters here and things like that. So grab that and that's that's what we're using to make this X. So I have this in a text module. So just go ahead and add a text module here and then go in here and add that code. And that code is from, like I said, it's the ET modules uh, font that comes with Divi. So th that's gonna be referencing um, that and pulling in and making it an X. And that's what we're going to be using to close the bar. All right, so then let's go back here again to our tutorial and um, grab the next snippet. So that's gonna be our CSS class. So in this text module where we put the X, we also need to put this PA promo close. All right, so in the advanced tab, Again, I'm, I'm looking here at this one with the X. CSS ID and classes toggle. Put that in there in the classes. So PA promo close. 
All right, so that's it for that. And then the next thing is going to be adding the class to the section, and that's just going to be PA promo bar. So grab that and then go into that, the actual, you know, the blue section here. Go into the settings, advanced tab, and again here to the CSS class and put that in there. So PA promo bar. All right, great. So what's going to happen is when someone clicks on this X, then this whole section hides, okay? So to do that, we're going to need um, some code, and that is in this next section here. And this is jQuery, so we're going to copy this from the tutorial. And this is going to go into our theme options. So go up here in the back, so Divi, theme options, find this integration tab right here. And then um, this top one here, add code to the head of your blog. And, um, you know, whatever you have in here, it doesn't really matter. But just, you know, if yours is blank, it doesn't matter. If there's more code in there, paste it after it. So you can kind of see what it's doing. When when that ID is clicked here, then the entire promo bar hides. Okay, so that's what that code is doing. Let's save our changes. Okay, so let's go back here to this text module. Go to the settings, the advanced tab, CSS, ID, and classes. And let's put this in the ID because this is an ID, not a CSS class. So you're going to have PA promo close. All right, save that. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is add some CSS. And that's this snippet right here. And that's just going to help with, you can see there's um, a hover here. So it adds a pointer on hover. And it also is some CSS that um, hides the promo bar. Um, and we'll get some of that later. All right, so let's copy this and go over to our theme options. So under Divi Custom CSS, let's go ahead and paste that there. And then click Save Changes. Okay, so here, of course, we have our promo bar and the button and all that. And you can see my little hand cursor when I go up there to that X. So if I click on this, it disappears. That's just what we want it to do. Now, there's a problem, though, and we're going to solve it. But if, if the user's here and they close that and they happen to just refresh the page or go to another page on the site, it's going to come back. And they might be like, uh, go away. And then they go to another page and it comes back. So in order for that not to happen, because that's just, that's really not good user experience. And I, I realize like, you know, you wouldn't have to hide it completely, but we're going to do it. I'm going to show you how. So that's going to be with PHP actually. And you're going to need a child theme for this. Um, if you don't have one, you, you can click here. We, we do have a free one that's available. Um, it's pretty basic, but it will get you by. It does what it needs to do. And I have this code here. So we're going to be pasting this snippet in our child theme. All right, so I'm going to copy this and show you how to do that. So go to your dashboard. Now, in my case, I'm in a multi-site, but you're going to want to go here where it says theme editor. So go to, go to your dashboard and look under themes and theme editor. And then make sure you're on um, the, you know, the child theme, whatever child theme I'm using. But... I'm on my free child theme. So here it says you can add custom functions below this line. And yours might say something similar to that. If it doesn't, just go to the end of your functions here and paste it there. So let's go ahead and paste that in. Now, what this is doing, um, it's setting a cookie. So basically it's saying when we hide that promo bar like we just did, it's going to stay hidden for a certain amount of time. And then after that time has passed, it's going to show up again. And what I have it set for, if you're pasting this snippet in, you can see it's, here's some numbers, 86400. And you may be like, well, what, what's that? Well, that's actually seconds. Um, so that's 24 hours. And just go ahead and Google something like seconds in a day, and you'll get that number. Now, if you want you see what's happening here? So what would happen is if I click hide, it won't come back for 24 hours. Okay. Um, if I come back in two days, I'll get this bar again. Um, and if you want to change that, you know, maybe you want this to be, you know, for three days, you don't want to bother someone. If they come back in a week, well, then they'll see it again. You would just take this number 
and put it in here in, in place of this 86400. Okay, so you're basically setting how long you want it and then make sure you click on update file. Okay, so let's test this out. I'm using an incognito window. So if I go up here and click this X, cause I don't, you know, I'm browsing the site and I don't want this promo bar here anymore. And I closed it. Okay, so what about when we refresh or navigate around to other pages? Let's see what happens. Page is reloading and the promo bar is still hidden. There you go. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed that. In fact, you know, you could even put a different promo bar on any of your products. You could have it on your product templates, even on a category. You could have it different on any of your pages just using the theme builder like that. And you're going to be using that same code and same um, classes and things like that. All right. Well, if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to be subscribed here. And we'll see you guys in the next video.